Hello, hello. 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 Can you hear me? If you hear me, you just type in the panel box to say the hi or what. Okay. So I think another two minutes, I we start for this webinar. Oh, okay, uh, we start now. Okay, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us today's Minitech webinar. Topic today is Minitech 90, gauge uh, R and R, repeatability and reproducibility. Okay, I'm Nosurawati. I'm the technical support specialist at Busy System. Busy System is an independent local representation for Minitech product and training in Malaysia and Singapore. Okay, before we get started, I have some housekeeping item. Okay, if you have question during a presentation, please type them into the question box in your control panel. You may send anytime throughout the presentation, but I will address them during Q&A session at the end of webinar. Kindly ensure that you have connected to audio via your computer speaker. For your information, this webinar will be recorded and therefore it will be set as listen-only mode to avoid interruption to uh, audio recording. The recording will be accessibility anytime later on. Your Our WhatsApp, www.visitsubs.com or by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Minitech Malaysia and Singapore. Okay, uh, Minitech was developed in 1972. So currently we have new version, Minitech 90. We just released in June this year. Okay, Minitech is statistical package for statistical analysis uh, for various type of analysis like for quality, for reliability, for the product uh, development and so on. Uh, we are leading uh, statistical software for quality improvement and statistic education. Okay, Minitech uh, able to use for everyone, whether you are statistician or non-statistician. Minitech also provide features guide you to the answer like Minitech Assistant. In Minitech Assistant, that help you choose the right tool with simplified dialogs box 
but come out with detailed report to easy interpret the finding. So Minitech will be your data analysis partner. Okay, this one is example, the various type of analysis can do it in Minitech 19. For example, we go for the basic one, go for the descriptive statistic, or you want to go for the visualization like Pareto chart to find out the most important factor or the most important problem in your project. Or you can go for the advanced like you want to do the product development and you want to do the control process. Okay. Or you can do also reliability improvement. Or we also provide like say you go for the modeling side or for business analytic like forecasting like time series or you want to know about the relationship between each variables let's say we can go for the metric plots or correlation okay so i think most of you familiar with this uh, framework we call it the, the one is a dmaic framework d is for define m is for measure i the a for analyzing I for improvement and the C for control. So most of the tool inside this um, framework uh, available in Minitech statistical software. Okay, for example, if let's say most fraction of quality improvement for define and measure measure stage, they using Pareto chart, uh, control chart, <coughs> capability, or gauge R and R. Or for analyzing, let's say we go for the correlation or we can go for the regression or for improvement stage, you can go for the ANOVA or regression or for the control chart, we also have a control chart and capability. Okay, so this one is some organization using Minitech. Okay, they are from various industries like manufacturing, automotive, electronic, services, and academic. Okay, so this one is our customer from the Malaysia and Singapore. Okay, so we go for the main agenda today is we, the first one we go for the why we not, we need have a gauge RNR. Uh, and then how we want to assess the variation in the measurable system. And then we go for the uh, specific scope is a gauge R and R. And I will show how assistant menu button for the gauge uh, help you to uh, resolve your problem regarding gauge R and R. Okay. So, uh, it's essential to make sure that your measurement system, like your gauge, your personnel or method and procedure, it's stable and capable of measuring your data before jump right in and start gathering and analyzing data to make the decision. Okay, so if your measurement system is not capable of releasing reliable measurements, then any analysis you conduct with those uh, measurements is likely meaningless. Okay, so uh, two terms are uh, accuracy and precision. Okay, come in when we assess the variation in measurement system. Okay. Accuracy is referred to how close your measurement are to the true value. In other words, the differences between the parts measurement and actual value. Okay, for the accuracy, we can break down into three components, which is, is bias, linearity, and stability. And then the second uh, term, which is, is we call it precision. Precision refer to how close measurement are to each other. Uh, in other words, the variation when uh, the same part is measured repeatedly with the same device. Okay, for the precision, 
we break down into two components, which is its repeatability and reproducibility. Okay, to gain our understanding, uh, the difference the differences between accuracy and precision, we convert that information into graphical information. But today, but today we just focus only the precision part, which is its repeatability and reproducibility. So meaning that if we let's like, say you can go for the accuracy, you want to know about the bias. Okay, go to type one gauge study and then go for the linearity. So available also in uh, Minitab. But today focus just only for precision, which is its repeatability and reproducibility. Okay, so gauge repeatability and reproducibility uh, is a methodology used to define the amounts of variation in the measurement data due to measurement system. Okay, repeatability is the variation when the same operator measure the same part repeatedly with the same device. So for the repeatability, we focus on the same operator, same part and same device. For the repeatability, the variation observation when different operator measure the same part using the same device. Okay, to remember the differences between repeatability and reproducibility, uh, know that noted uh, that in reproducibility we have O here. So O is referred for the operator, meaning that for the reproducibility, different operator, same part and same device. Okay, so normally KHR and R is to access how well the measurement system can distribute between the part. And then the second is whether the operator measure them consistently. Okay, so, but I want to hide like here, gauge and R, uh, gauge R and R applicable for measurement or numerical data. So let's say if your measurement is like, uh, accept reject yes or no, so you can go to others uh, tools like attribute agreement analysis. Okay, so Minita offer three type of gauge R and R analysis. Okay, uh, the first one is we call it cross gauge R and R, and then second is we call it nested gauge R and R, and then third one is expanded gauge R and R. So two. Uh, Two different uh, shape between cross and nested. I provide this graphical. Is it to explain it? Okay, cross means that uh, each operator, okay, measure each a part here. Okay, let's say operator one measure part one ante part C, almost same with the operator two from the part one and part C. But for nested. Uh, we have each part he is a uh, unique to the operator. Instead, we divide, let's say, part one until part three for the operator one, and then part four until part six, maybe for the operator two. Okay. So for the expanded, which is is we have more than two factor, which is for the cross and nested here. We have a operator and the part be our factor. So if let's say you have additional factor, let's say location where you want to do the measurement at the, at the part itself, let's say you want to take the diameter, so you need have a specific location. So you can go for the expanded gauge RNR study. Okay, or you want to declare some factor, a fixed factor, Okay, or you have both cross and nested factor, or you have unbalanced design, which is, is uh, let's say, uh, operator one just uh, re, re, uh, just take it for the only two part, and operator two baby four part. So that one it come up with the unbalanced design. Okay, so now we have a three type of uh, gauge study in Minitab. First. Cross, second, nested, 
And then third one is, we call it expanded gauge RNR. Okay. So, uh, for your information, in Minitab, beside run analysis for the crows uh, nested and expanded, you basically can create the worksheet through the Minitab. Uh, I will show, go to directly to the Minitab statistical software. Okay, so before we start with the create our worksheet for the gauge study, okay, I will explain a little bit about the enhance in the new version. Okay, uh, with the beta faster and easier, we need type 19, migrate from the, from the multiple interface document to the single interface document. Okay, so now when you open the mini type 19, okay, you can see the a little bit changing uh, from the previous version. Okay, in this version, we have uh, we call it navigator. Here we call it that one is the output pin, and here is we call it the worksheet. Okay, so for the output pin, let's say like before this we call it project manager. Okay, so now we, we rename by the navigator is your diary. Okay. And then the output pane is the result, whether numeric or graphical, okay, appear in this output pane. And then is the worksheet, okay. Uh, worksheet is most likely Excel, okay, for easily to use, okay. To learn more about Minitab uh, 90, okay, please visit our website www.busy.com or subscribe our YouTube channel for the past webinar for the uh, what's new in mini type 19 okay but to our focus today to create the gauge r and r worksheet so where you where you need to get that kind of the features okay so we go for the stat okay go for the stat go for the quality tools go for the gauge study and then you choose great uh, gauge r and r study worksheet okay i will do go to stat go to quality tools go to gauge study you choose create gauge r and r study worksheet okay for example we have a one scenario let's say we want to do the measurement okay measure pencil with a ruler so means that uh, our pencil be at the part Okay, and then ruler be added, our gauge, and then randomly we select 10 pencil, means that we have a 10 part, okay, and then uh, we have uh, three people, okay, which is, is, you can rename the operator name, let's say here we have uh, Sarah, okay, maybe K, maybe Lim. Okay, so you could rename. Same with the part, maybe pencil one. Okay, pencil one. Okay, and so on. And then you need, we do the uh, two times two replication for each operator. Means that now you get 16 uh, measurement. Okay, let's say here is part one and then click okay. So you get here. So means that now you have a 10 parts, but here is your pencil, the operator. So already have a um, name for the operator. We have three operator. You do the two replication for each operator. And then the total run for this uh, measurement is 16. So let's say here is measure. Okay, let's say Sarah for the part one is 50. 0.01 okay and so on okay so before you you run the actual part for the gauge run art so you can pro, uh, provide the worksheet inside the mini tab okay so back to this sheet okay already yeah so i have one case study Okay, a manufacturer of fuel injector nozzle install a new digital measuring system. Okay, investigator wants to determine how well 
the new system measure the nozzles. Okay, technician randomly sample across all the major sources of varish, uh, process variation, okay, which is, is machine time shift and job change. Okay, nine nozzle that represent those that are typically produced. They cut the nozzle to identify the measurement taken on each nozzle. The first operator measure that nine nozzle in random order. Then the second uh, measure the nine nozzle in different random order. So each operator repeat the process twice. For the total, we have a 66 measurement. Okay, the specification for nozzles diameter is 9012 plus minus 4 microns. So the tolerance for this uh, case study is 8 microns. So we using the nozzle uh, data set. Okay, so I open that data set. Okay, so here. Okay, so now you have a 66 uh, measurement. Okay, so we have a two operator, operator one and operator two. Every um, every operator uh, repeat two times. Okay, and then you get this one is the hour uh, diameter for the nozzle. Okay, so how to decide? Is it is one is the cross or nested or expanded? For this case, is the cross because each operator uh, measure for each part. Okay, so the right tools for this case study is a cross. So where go to start again? Start quality tools case study. We choose cross case study. So in here you can uh, assess what is the cross. Okay, when the operator uh, measure all the part. Okay, so cross. So I redo. Go to stat. Go to quality tools. Go to gauge study. You choose cross case study. Okay. So in this dialog box, you need to have a part number. For this case, is nozzle be our part number. So operator, we have operator. So the measurement data, we have a diameter here, okay? So if let's say you want to insert the gauge information, so you can go for the gauge name. And then most important here is a option, okay? In this option, okay, you can insert the study variation. Let's say you don't have a spec uh, tolerance. Also for this case study, we provide the tolerance, which is is a. So we go for the tolerance. Okay, so let's say you have a historical standard deviation, so you can go for the historical standard deviation. And also you have um, optional, let's say you want to uh, draw a graph on the separate graph or one graph per page. Instead, if let's say you have, let's say, measurement by part, only one part, so you need to click here. For example, I choose this, click here, and then click OK. After that, you can click OK. Okay, so now you get the result, gauge R and R study. Let's say here we have a ANOVA. We have a ANOVA with the interaction. We have ANOVA without interaction. We have a gauge R and R, which is, is for the component variation. We have the gauge evaluation inside this table. We have a percentage study variation or percentage tolerance. Since we provide the uh, tolerance, so they provide this. Uh, information and then uh, for information the first run I choose every uh, graph for the per pages so they provide all these graph in one pages let's say this graph is component of variation we have a uh, control chart we have uh, for uh, nozzle by a diameter by nozzle and then so on. So let's say if let's say you don't want like this one, so you could go back to this dialog box. Okay, go back to option and then unclick this one and then click OK. Click OK. So now you get this in one set only. All the graph in one set only. Okay, so we have two uh, options whether you want to provide this like, okay, every pages, every graph or in one graph inside 
six pages in one graph. Okay, so based on your preference. Okay, but always our customer call the technical part to uh, raise the question like how we started to interpret the result for gauge R and R because we prov uh, Minitab provide a lot of uh, information inside there. So we try guide you how to do it, how to interpret this result. Okay, so we have a three step. Okay, uh, in ANOVA, okay, in ANOVA table, which is, is you can identify whether your factor is significant or not. Let's say factor means that your part, your operator, and the interaction between operator and the part. And then you have an arrow here. Okay, and the most important here is we call it the use the gear, uh, GR and R table. Inside this table, we have a percentage contribution. Okay, we also have percentage study variation, and also we have a percentage tolerance and the number distance category. So in this table, uh, we want to evaluate the variation for each our component. Let's say for the total gauge variation, for the repeatability, uh, reproducibility, and part to part, which is we know if let's say your part to part more than total gauge R and R, so means that your measurement is okay. Okay, but uh, beside that, we have a standard or you have your own standard based on your company. Okay, so let's say we have a a AIAG uh, or we call it Automotive Industry Action Group guidelines. Okay, let's say for the, if let's say you go for the percentage contribution. So let's say if uh, one or less we accept, okay, one or two, ten potentially acceptable. Okay, but if let's say nine percent or greater, so the system is that we, we cannot accept. Okay, based on the AIAG, or uh, you can go for the tolerance or steady uh, steady variation and uh, process. We have under ten percent. We have acceptable measurement system. Okay, we have between that ten to thirty potentially acceptable, and then we have over thirty percent is not acceptable. And then we have another matrices. We call it number of distant category. So based on the AIAG. Uh, standard NDC should be have five or more, so we consider that measurement is accepted and then distribute between the part. Or if let's say you don't want here, you can go for the exam, the graph for more information on the gauge study, which is, is you can uh, transform this uh, numerical information to the graphical information like. Let's say you want to assess the component of variation. Okay, we have one to know about the consistency of the our operator. So here you can go for the R chart, and then we can go for the S bar chart, and then we provide the measure by the part itself, and then measurement by the operator, and then uh, interaction. If let's like, say in this uh, ANOVA is have significant for the operator and the uh, to give the evidence whether is it significant or not based on this uh, graph, okay? So during do the interpreting our finding from the mini tab, you need to have uh, this kind of the uh, step first and then you need to compare with the standard, okay? This one is the normal standard or you have your own standard based on your company standard. Okay, so let's say I go for the first one. Okay, the first one, uh, ANOVA. In this ANOVA table, you, we assess uh, our nozzle is our pipe and then operator and then uh, interaction. Let's say for this case, interaction is not significant. So, uh, Minitech provide to another uh, table so we call it this one is without interaction since this p value is 0 0.70 more than 0 
Okay, means that now we know only have a two factor, which is its nozzle and then operator. Okay, so the second step, which is, is we go for the gauge R and R. Okay, so this one is a little bit confusing because we provide a lot of information, but never mind. Uh, for this case, let's say is a percentage contribution, uh, percentage stand, study variation, and the percentage tolerance uh, telling the same thing but in different way. This one is not this. Uh, this one is uh, percentage. Okay, this one sum. How to get this one from here? Divide by this one times one hundred. You get this kind of the total gauge R and R. Okay, so for this case. Uh, for this case study, based on this value, a part to part variation is more than total gauge R and R. Means that your measurement is acceptable. Okay, measurement is your measurement is okay. Okay, so let's say you don't want using this uh, contribution. Okay, you can go further. Uh, stay, study variation. So let's say based on the IG standard, less than 10 is acceptable. So for this case, total gauge R and R is less than 10, so it's acceptable. And then for this also, we have a NDC. Okay, we have 15. Based on the IG standard, the system can distinguish between the part assembly. So means that uh, we accept this measurement system. Because based on the AID standard, the percentage variation uh, less than one, and then is let's say for the percentage study variation less than ten percent. So we accept this uh, measurement. Okay. So if you not satisfied with this information, you can provide this kind of the graph. Let's say for the first graph is a component variation, which is is part to part more than total of uh, gauge R and R. Inside gauge and R and R is referred to uh, sum of the repetition, variation, and reproducibility. So for this case, we see that uh, repeatability more than reproducibility. Okay. In this uh, XR, R and X bar chart, okay, by operator, okay, R chart since are the point uh, within control. The operator is consistent measurement measuring the part, okay. And as far as uh, point uh, below, okay, above and below, okay, it indicate that part of part to variation is much greater than measurement uh, device variation, means that uh, gauge R and R. So which is is all this is outside from the control limit. So means that part to part variation more than gauge R and R. Okay, so we have another graph. We call it measurement by the part itself. We have a nine part. Okay, so multiple measure for each part are close together. Okay, this one is close together. So average varies enough so that differences between part are clear. Okay, so this one is a measurement by the operator. Okay, the operator appear to be measure the part consistently with the operation the same variation. So this one is consistent between. And then the line follow for each another close and the differences between part are clear. Okay, the operator seems to be measuring part similarity. So the blue color here is operator one, the red color here is operator two. So it's, it seems like they have the same, okay, uh, closely. Okay, and the differences between part are clearly. So we go back to this one, okay. So for this one, okay. So we have a two, uh, let's say, the one, those uh, one by one pages. So you can go further. Uh, in one page, you have a uh, six graph in one pages, okay. Okay. So uh, in mini tab, we provide. The, we call it is assistant menu button. Okay, so in this assistant menu button, they provide the how to run the analysis. Okay, uh, and then uh, we have a run analysis quickly and easily. Okay, 
the dialog box is more simplest, okay, rather than uh, manual one, okay. Uh, and then we provide the interpreting your result with confidence, okay. And then you can share your finding with one click. For example, for this case, the same case study, okay. So, so the same case study, but I just will show to how to using gauge R and R in mini, uh, assistant menu button. So where inside the mis measurement system analysis MSA. So go for the assistant, choose measurement system analysis. Okay, so they provide you what is your data type is measurement or appraiser. Okay, let's say our data set is a diameter, so you go for the measurement. Okay, so for this case, we don't want to start to set up the worksheet, we want to analyze because we already have uh, this kind of the that worksheet. Okay, so go back to assistant, measurement system analysis. Okay, and then choose cross uh, study. And then here. Okay, so operator. So our operator pass is our nozzle. Measurement is our diameter. It's let's say you have a historical standard deviation, you can uh, type in here, or you can using the estimate from the parts. And then for this case, we have tolerance is eight. And then click OK. Okay, so now you get this one. I will do go to assistant, go to measurement system analysis. Okay, go to cross. Okay, and then you choose the operator part, and then diameter. You choose, uh, you type the tolerance and click OK. So you get this of the summary, okay? In assistant, they provide you summary report, okay? Which is, is have a conclusion to you, okay? Whether is they ask you, can you execute, assist, assess uh, process performance, okay? So which is, is they, uh, which from here, you say that it's six, uh, 9%, so means that less than 10%. So based on AIG, the measurement itself is acceptable. Okay, and then you have a comment inside there. Okay, what is? And then we have a graph by by each component. Okay, and then we have a variation report. Okay, inside here we also have the standard percentage stud, uh, study variation, and then we have a report cut. Okay, so basically, if let's say you're using the assistant, is more valuable. Okay, easy to find out to the uh, finding your report. Okay, let's say this one, so you can directly send to the words, okay? So now, now you already have your summary report, okay? So in Minitab, they have two way to run the gauge R and R for the cross, okay? In start menu button, okay, in start menu button, say quality tools, gauge study, and then you can choose cross. Or you can go for the assistant, measurement system analysis, okay, and then you go for the cross case study, okay, and then you will need to set and then you get. So let's say this, this one is from the start menu button, Okay, and this one is from the uh, assistant menu button. So let's say this one, okay. So this one is output from the assistant menu, uh, from the start menu button. This one is output from the assistant menu button, okay. Okay. So performing a gauge r and &R study can help you to identify problems with your measurement system, enabling you to trust your data and to make data-driven decision for the process improvement. Okay, so if you have any question. You can type in that at the chat box.
Okay, for example, here we have a one okay, uh, question from the Ng. Okay, I know. Just want to know if there is one point out of the R. What does mean? How should uh, we continue? Okay, let's say for the R chart, basically we go for the consistency of the evaluation for the our consistency, our operator consistency. Okay. So that one, let's say uh, we have one out from the art, maybe your operator is not uh, consistent uh, by, uh, uh, your operator is not consistency, okay? Okay, how will come this? Okay, basically for the, a system may know we not provide the NDC. So let's say if let's say you just only uh, specified to evaluate the measurement system on that on the NDC. So we suggest to you using the start menu button. But never mind, we take your your feedback to the our uh, feedback. So anyone question? Could you please repeat how to share the result to the point point? Okay. Yes, we we can provide the PPT materials to the webinar, but you need to provide the your your email and then we, we send to you. Okay. Okay, so I will show how how to uh how to impart this uh, worksheet, uh, this uh, result to the PowerPoint. So right click and that graph, send to PowerPoint. Okay, so they directly send to your PowerPoint. For example, here, okay, already here is one, is one. Okay, so we have here, so we have uh, We have a three type, which is uh, go for the words, go for the PowerPoint, go send to companion is a continuous management project from the mini tab. Okay. Or you can go for the copy and then paste it. Or same with this uh, information, say this one. So you can send to directly and then you can copy as a picture also. So basically, uh, the question is how frequent to conduct the gauge RNR after first gauge RNR proverb. Basically, if uh, we go for the how, what is your project, what is your continuous improvement? Okay, let's say they are already finished, so you need you come up with the new project, so you need have a new uh, gauge RNR. Okay, because gauge RNR is crucial part before you take or you collect your data, okay? Okay, what is the advantages of nested gauge RNR? Okay, basically nested gauge RNR is mostly, if let's say go here, okay, here. Is a case study and then nested. Okay, so basically, if let's say you go for the disruptive, so we suggest you using nested with the assumption your part is the same, each part, so exactly the same. 
So we suggest you using Nestec uh, gauge RNA study. Okay. So any question? I think a lot of question today. Okay. Okay, in this, okay, say here. Okay, we have a recap. So let's say if you want this slideshow, you need to write down your email and they will ask. Okay, after we copy the table, okay, if we make any change in the mini tab, is the change it represented automatically to table? We copy it earlier in the PPD. No, because if already here, okay, if you if if let's say you have changing something in this uh, mini tab, so after you once you import for this one so you cannot be editing if let's say for the new version let's say you edit something in this worksheet okay let's say you edit something here it's a five okay so now for this one So doesn't appear in okay. So they using they pop up you this question okay this uh, question mark is it res result do not uh, use the current uh, data okay so for the new version so you need to run again okay a lot of question today how shall we determine when we need to send? okay. So basically, for the percentage uh, percentage contribution, okay, variation variation study uh, percentage study variation is most for the improvement measurement system. For the tolerance itself, is want to classify part as in our or in or out of the spec, okay. If cash arena is less than ten percent, but NDC is less than that is acceptable. Okay. And so I think we go back to this one okay so let's say to interpret the result let's say we go for the standard okay we standard so this one is the AIAG standard if let's if let's say you follow this AIAG standard they suggest they need your NDC need to five and then your percentage contribution is one or stand tolerance of study duration under 10 percent is considered acceptable so for the range between 10 to 30 also have potential to acceptable but it depends on the measurement itself on the cost and the risk of that your measurement system itself okay so i think i need to stop here so let's say if you question uh, i'm not rush in this uh, webinar i will uh, privately email to you 
Okay, so if let's say you want to try or buy Minitab 90, you can go uh, visit our website, it's www.minitab.com or www.visits.com or you can uh, email us uh, any regarding this topic or others topic regarding Minitab 19 to sales at visits.com or Minitab at visits.com. So please follow us at the Minitab uh, Malaysia and Singapore for media social like Facebook and link. Okay. So thank you and have a nice day.